Hey guys, about a week ago I got back from Chicago where I was attending the SCA annual meeting and walked into this. This is the Butterfly Ultrasound and it's, it's awesome. Uh, I've been using it for about the last week, uh, mainly on myself, but also on patients at the hospital, in the ICU and in the OR settings. Not as a billing tool, nothing like that, but just a practice point of care ultrasound with their consent. I've also been using it to teach my residents the value of this modality in both the perioperative and intensive care settings. Here's the actual device. It's really cool. It comes with a wireless charger. I opted to get the USB-C type because Butterfly has said in the future they're going to be supporting Android devices through the USB-C interface. And secondly, um, it's kind of the way of the future. I think it's future-proofing it. Um, right now it only works on an iPad Pro, so I've got mine sitting here. But I'm actually going to show you all a, a walkthrough of how this device works and what its interface is like by doing a cardiac exam on myself. So here it is. All right, so here we are. Here's the butterfly interface. So the first thing you can do is change your presets to whatever you want. You've got a lot of different options. And the beauty of this probe is it combines like a linear probe, a curvilinear probe, and a phase array probe all into one piece of hardware. So it'll automatically adjust based on the organ system that you're trying to scan. Other thing you can do is adjust depth just with kind of a two finger gesture, you can adjust time gain compensation at various levels by sliding your finger left and right at varying depths. So let's let's get started. I'm going to take a quick look at my heart actually. Let's see. Got some gel. There it is. So it's pretty cool. So right there, this is a parasternal long and uh, let's see, let me get a stable view. That's pretty good. Now what I can do is I can go down here to modes and actually let's do an M mode through the mitral leaflet tips. And this can sort of get you a um, E point septal separation, which looks pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is let's get some color on here. Can adjust the box just with a finger gesture like that. Now this is not the best view for color Doppler just because you're perpendicular to the ultrasound beam but nevertheless you can see how easy it is to to manipulate things. So that was my mitral. This is kind of in my aortic valve area. Exit out of this mode and there you go. So there's my right ventricular outflow track on the top of the screen, mitral valve on the bottom. You can even see my descending aorta at the very bottom, bright pericardium, no comment. <laughs> All right, so that's basically it. And I can even switch rotating here, going to the peristernal short, and I'm running out of gel, but I'm gonna swipe kind of up towards my aortic valve. You can see me zooming in here, and it looks tri-leaflet. Pretty sure it is, because I did this exam earlier but you can even look at other parts of the heart. So like over here, I can look towards my pulmonic valve. Swapping it over to the side here. Looks good. Tricuspid valve would be on the other side. All right, but you all get the point. Um, that's, that's just a quick cardiac exam. Now imagine doing this on patients. So what's the whole point of spending $2,000 on a portable ultrasound when I can just use the one in the hospital, right? Well, a couple reasons. One, accessibility. If you're in the third world on a mission trip, for example, you can't always snap your fingers and get an ultrasound. So it's invaluable to have one in your back pocket to do a quick heart exam, lung exam, abdominal exam, whatever you need to do. You can guide therapy, you can monitor response to therapy, things like that. Second thing is it's an invaluable teaching tool, and not just for my residents, this is incredible for patients. When you let them hold this and they can look at their own heart or their own blood vessels, it's, it's powerful. They, they feel like they're part of their care, which is, which is a really, really important part of multidisciplinary care where the patient is at the center. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I love these things. It really empowers patients to take part in their own care. Third, I think it's cool. I, I'm admittedly an ultrasound nerd. I love everything about it. I think its utility is 
incredible. It'll span so many different disciplines, and I, I want to make sure my skills can stay polished uh, across a myriad of things, whether I'm doing peripheral nerve blocks for pain control, whether I'm looking at the heart, the lungs, the belly, vessels for cannulation, doesn't matter. Like having one device that can help with all of that is really, really cool. So those are a couple of the reasons why I think this is important. Really appreciate you all joining. I'll be posting more of these videos going into the future. But in the meantime, drop me a comment below and have a great day. Take care.